Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the Military Social Work Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where military and aspiring military social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back. We are continuing our Women's History Month Military Leaders Series. And today we will be talking about the first woman in the United States Marine Corps to reach general officer rank. Yes. And that woman, her name is Margaret A. Brewer. So let's talk about her. Brigadier General Margaret A. Brewer was the first woman in the United States Marine Corps to reach the general officer rank. Let's go over her background. General Brewer was born in Durand, Michigan on July 1st, 1930 to Maurice and Ann Brewer. Her parents divorced early in her life. Her ancestors on her father's side were early settlers of Michigan and are buried near Bishop Airport in Flint, Michigan. Brewer received her primary education in Michigan, attending Rhino School in Clayton Township, Genesee County, in 1936. She later graduated from the Catholic High School in Baltimore, Maryland, prior to entering the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor. She received a bachelor's, bachelor's degree in geography in 1952 and was a member of Zeta Tau Alpha sorority. Let's look at her career in the Marine Corps. Brewer was commissioned a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps in 1952. Her first assignment was at the Marine Corps Air Station El Toro, California, where she served as a communication watch officer until June 1953. She was then transferred to my hometown, Brooklyn, New York, for a two-year tour as an inspector instructor of a, a woman Marine Reserve unit. From September 1955 until June 1958, then Captain Brewer served successfully as commanding officer of the Women Marine Companies at Norfolk, Virginia, and Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. During the 18 months following, she was a platoon commander for women officer candidates at Marine Corps Base Quantico, Virginia, during summer training sessions, and for the balance of the time, a woman officer selection officer within headquarters in Lexington, Kentucky. Transferred to Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California in November 1959 for duty with the Commission Officer's Mess, Brewer was promoted to Major in September 1961 and in April 1963 returned to Quantico to serve as an Executive Officer of the Women Officer School. By 1966, she was the Public Affairs Officer for the 6th Marine Corps District in Atlanta, Georgia, as Lieutenant Colonel. Brewer served as Deputy Director of Women Marines at Headquarters Marine Corps from March 1968 to March 1971. She was promoted to Full Bird Colonel in 1970. Reporting to Quantico, she assumed duty as Special Assistant to the Director of Marine Corps Education Center. She became Chief of the Support Department, Marine Corps Education Center in June 1972, serving as the seventh Director of Women Marines on February 1st, 1973 until 1977. On July 1st, 1977, then Colonel Brewer assumed duty as Deputy Director of the Division of Information, Headquarters Marine Corps when the Director of Women Marines Office was disbanded 
because of the strides made in integrating women into an expanded role in the Corps. For meritorious service as the director of Women Marines, she was presented the Legion of Merit by the Commandant of the Marine Corps on June 30th, 1977. While serving as the Deputy Director of the Division of Information, Headquarters Marine Corps, Brewer was nominated to the post of Director of the Division of Information, which required a general rank. At the time, the Marine Corps did not allow women to hold the general rank. President Carter made a special nomination to the grade of Brigadier General that was approved by both houses of Congress. She was appointed to that grade and assumed duty as Director of Information on May 11, 1978, at which time she became the first female general officer in the United States Marine Corps. After Brewer reorganized the division, the Division of Information was redesignated as the Division of Public Affairs, and Brigadier General Brewer's title was changed to Director of Public Affairs. Brewer retired in 1980. Wow, what an inspirational story. What an inspirational life. Um, she held all these different commands, the last one being Director of Public Affairs, Director of Information, Director of Women Marines, Women Officers School, and uh, the, the two commands at Camp Lejeune and Norfolk where she was, uh, she was Commander of Women Marines. So this is another, this is another inspirational service member who broke down barriers, who broke that glass ceiling who strived for excellence and she didn't let anything, you know, get in her way. Wow. I'm I'm really happy that I was able to to talk about General Brewer today on the show. So, I'm going to stop there. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh for all the social workers out there, thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agencies and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. And again, happy National Social Work Month, social workers. Bye for now.